Come in crazy. I'm going to uppercut your ass. Come in crazy. I'm going to uppercut your ass. What's up? Got him. Got him. What'd I say? I said, what it is, YouTube? It's JB2800. As you can see, man, we out here playing this UFC 4 online. I'm using uh, Brandon Moreno. And we're going to be talking about UFC 270 that's going down this weekend, man. This shit going to be crazy. It's going to be lit. We got uh, Francis Ngannou versus Cyril Gaon for the heavyweight championship. And we got uh, Brandon Moreno versus Devison Figueredo. Or Figueredo, whatever, how you say it. Uh, part 3. That shit's going to be a banger. Let's go. I'm going against this Tim Elliott. So, I got to, you know what I'm saying, pay attention. Stay on my shit. But, yeah. Um, starting with Brandon Moreno versus Davis and Figueredo, I think that's going to be a good fight because, you know, uh, third time these guys are going against each other, Brandon Moreno got the uh, better of him the second time for sure, and the first time, you know, it was a toss-up on who you think could win, so um, it would be good to see Flyweight move on and see some other people get some, uh, see other people get some title shots, so. I think Brendan Moreno is going to get it done. I'm throwing him into a parlay. I'll uh, flash that on the screen now. Um, so if that cash is for you and you listen to me, you know what I'm saying? I fuck with you. But, yeah, I'm going with that this weekend. I think Brendan Moreno is just going to get it done. Um, Francis Ngannou versus Cyril gone. That's going to be a tough fight. That's going to be a tough fight, man. Just because... Oh, he gets the takedown. Fuck. That's going to be a tough fight just because Cyril gone is so good everywhere. He's slick, man. He's good everywhere. Um, he could probably knock him out later on in the fight, which is, I don't think that's a, I think that's a decent prediction. Either a decision or Cyril gone, like, fourth round, fifth round, uh, knockout. Um, but, yeah, I think Francis Agano needs to get it done, or else he's going to be off the UFC. I mean, with the contract disputes and everything that's going on, it's not looking good for that boy, so... He needs to fucking make something happen in a big way. For sure. I'm trying to set this way up. But yeah, Francis Agano needs to come through in a big way. Um, this is for the biggest, baddest man on the planet, man. Like, you can't be doing no bullshit. And I think if uh, Cyril... And this is also low-key. The winner of this gets John Jones. So, big, major implications. For sure. Because John Jones versus Francis Ngannou is the fight we all want. Let's be real. The Cyril Gaon fight, that'll be cool because it'll be like, it'll be the most technical heavyweight fight of all time. That's one thing I haven't seen a lot of people talk about is how technical that fight would be. Um, so yeah, I think that'll be a good fight to see too. But just for sure, just the skill versus the power. Like it is like it's gonna be this weekend. I think it'll be really interesting with Francis Ngannou versus John Jones. So. We'll see what happens. Um, but yeah, I'm taking Brandon Moreno. That's my confident pick. If I had to pick, I might just bet a little bit of money on the Francis knockout just for fun. Nothing, nothing too major. Just to throw it out there, just for the culture, because I think it's for the better of like the UFC culture if Francis Ngannou gets it done. So that's who we're rolling with. But yeah, I need to get to uh, whooping this guy's ass. I need to lock in. He's definitely beatable. He's, uh, he's he's giving me a lot of openings. I gotta take him. Beat him to that jab. Beat him to that jab. I'm faster than too. Gotta walk him down. And he, and, and he likes to throw a bunch of fucking strikes and get tired. Yeah, keep throwing. Keep throwing. Keep throwing like a dumbass. Let's go. I'm gonna guard my body up. Yes, sir. We're cracking him. He wants that takedown bad. You can tell. He wants that takedown bad. We gonna fucking, we gonna get up, get back up, game. He's getting his ass beat, so he wants that takedown. 
But no, sir. No, sir. But yeah, there's a lot of good fights on the undercard, too. I think uh, Rising Star uh, Tempura. Uh, I forgot his first name, but Tempura. That boy. In his last fight, he went against what's his name? Fucking the Jiu Jitsu nigga. <laughs> a lot of people gonna call me a casual. I don't know why I'm drawing a blank right now, but I think it's Ryan something. But yeah, fucking went against him. And shit, he fought good as fuck. I think he might end up being somebody to watch. For real. Um, so yeah, I got him I got him in my parlay along with Brandon Moreno. Um, so yeah, I think those are two really good bets. I think he's going to be a threat in the future. So why not bet on him? Okay, okay. I need, I need to back him up. <laughs> I need to back him up. Leave. I like this guy a ton, and to watch him punch, I just put the smile on my face. Oh, nice. Weave. Nice. Yeah, he can't take these weaves. Moreno goes for the leg kick. He does not connect. Weave. Big right hook coming. It's blocked. Get him again. Let's go. The next with the right. 30 seconds now to go in the round. Oh, I fucking went on the wrong side of the weave. Boom. Cracked his ass at the end of the round. Let's go. This is a great ass fight. Come on. Let's check out these fight stats. See that round is mine. I think the first round is mine. I think I'm just shipping them. He's getting them takes, but it's definitely my round. Um, let me look real quick the reference who the third person on my parlay this weekend was. Yeah, Jack Della Mandelana or Meladania, whatever you say it. That boy gone. Yeah, man. Come on now. He gonna slide. Um, he's the favorite. Um, I think he's going to get it done. Throw that in the parlay. Sweeten up the odds a little bit. Looking at a good night. You, you should be able to watch the UFC events comfortable and cool with those on your side. Um, so, yeah, that's what I'm rocking with. But, man, any, is there anyone else who's super freaking nervous for Francis, man? Like, this is the big... Freaking spot for Francis, man. Big spot. Come on, I'm fucking stuck in this shit. Of course, bro. He's gonna get me in this gay ass shit. Come on now. We gotta break out. Break out. We gotta break out. Let's go. That's how champions do it. Let's go, Brandon Moreno. That's how champions do the shit, man. That's how champions get out of sticky situations. Let's get it. Three minutes to survive. This fight's mine. Let's go. Crack his ass up. Crack his ass up. We're gonna do Davis in the same way. Crack his ass up on that uppercut every time. Boom. Brandon Moreno's uppercut is so nasty. This shit is so nasty. Mm -hmm. Come in crazy. I'm going to uppercut your ass. <laughs> Come in crazy. I'm going to uppercut your ass. What's up? Got him. Got him. What'd I say? I said, come in crazy, I'm going to uppercut your ass, nigga. Come on. That's a dub, man. Perfect fucking call out. Perfect call out. And that's what I'm going to call. That's what I'm going to call this weekend. Brandon Moreno uppercut knockout, man. Let's go. Yink. Perfect fucking smack. Let's get it, man. It, it's just a quick video uh, for this week, man. 
just giving my predictions and my breakdown of the UFC 270 card and a quick little uh, Brandon Moreno masterclass. Knocked his ass out with a perfect right uppercut. But yeah, it's JV2800. We out this bit lit, man. Let's go.